Well, we are a little bit short, I think, on Outriders. Uh, we need some young kids to kind of get going. Um, I'm not quite sure why that we're short. I know when we were kids growing up, a bunch of us, we just couldn't wait to get old enough to get into the saddle. And it's a, it's a great way to spend the summer. And, and you can make quite a bit of money doing it too. Well, I grew up in chuck wagons my whole life. Uh, of course, Lo Dad drove his whole life and Logan got started and Logan kicked into the out riding and it was the easiest way for me to be part of the sport and uh, to be in, in every heat every night. So, uh, in majority of the heats every night. So, uh, from there, I just started out riding when I was 16 and then took off from there. The feeling right before the horn and after the horn blows, you can't, you can't describe it. When you first get out there, you're, you're trying to warm up and get your pony ready. Um, but from there, the horses start rolling in and you try to get yourself, if you're holding leaders, set yourself in a proper position to help the driver get set. And if you're throwing stove, get yourself positioned to make sure you get the stove in. Uh, from there, it's, it's just the total calmness in your body, especially when you're holding leaders. Stay calm, don't get excited. And then when the horn goes, the exact opposite. You're just like the horses and you, and you try to get going and try to help them get fired up. Dustin and Gary Gorris picked me up about four years ago and I just never stopped since then. Right now I'm a barn hand and hopefully, at least by next year, I'll start out riding. The things I like about out riding is the adrenaline rush, speed, the horses, and all that kind of stuff. To start out riding, I guess uh, everybody's, there's lots and lots, lots and lots of guys that sat up in the crowd and said, oh, that's easy, I can do that. Well, you don't see them out there and there's a lower amount of outriders nowadays than, than usual because I, when I grew up, there was lots of quads in the, in the three wheelers in that area and, and people started to lean away from horses. So now you get the 20 year old men, they have never rode before. So if you never rode, you can't outride. And if you want to be an outrider, you got to get up in the morning and you got to practice. And if you think you're going to ride one or two horses and out there and be a race, it's not going to happen. You got to get on hundreds of horses before uh, you even think about a race. And then from there, you got to get one heat, uh, one or two heats for first year or two, and just take care of that and get comfortable in the situation you're in. And from there, hopefully, you pick up more heats after that. It helps if you're one of those kids sitting on the fence, you know, at eight or ten years old, and, and looking out and watching and saying, "I want to do that someday." That seems to be with the ones that. Uh, you know, can't wait to get old and grow up quick enough, you know. And that seems to be where the best ones get their start, is uh, kind of early in life when you don't need money and uh, you just work in the barn and work your way up from there. That seems to be where everybody that lasts gets their start. What I think makes a good outrider is consistency, athleticism, and being committed. The kind of advice that I give a new outrider is stay committed, Stick with it for as long as you can and try your best. The one thing I would tell anybody that wants to become an outrider is come out and try. You can always uh, talk about coming out and uh, if you never show up and give her a try in the morning, you'll never know. And if it doesn't work out, it's not a big deal. Uh, lots of people have been through that process, and, but and, hey, maybe you might get lucky and, and you might really enjoy it and you might be a, a natural at it and you can find yourself making a, a comfortable living at it. I know that if there's some good young guys coming, there's plenty of guys here to give them a hand and, and help them out. And uh, hopefully a few of them can catch on and carry this thing forward.